Hey guys, welcome back. Ashley, can you say hi? Hi. You look a little disheveled, but we just got up, didn't we? Well, you did. I've been up for about an hour. And you're getting a bagel, right? And I am working in the kitchen already. Let me show you a few things that I'm doing right now. I'm making pasta. I have our church's 24th of July barbecue tonight. It's when we celebrate like we did for the actual 24th of July in Utah, the day that the pioneers came into the Utah Valley. And even though we don't live in Utah, it is still something we celebrate as a church worldwide. And a lot of places outside of Utah find their own time to celebrate and not necessarily on the 24th just because we don't, our state doesn't shut down everything on the 24th like they do in Utah. So we just have to do it today on a Saturday where we can get together and have a barbecue and hang out as friends. I cheated and used three boxes of pasta mix and I'm making that up right now. I'm gonna go ahead and strain this off and then I will show you, well, let me just show you really quick the other things that I've got prepped and ready to go. Look how gorgeous. <laughs> So I got these flowers from my friend's yard. She let me come and pick a whole bunch of hydrangeas. I've got my to-do list right here. And then I've got a whole bunch of jars. I might throw in some flags. So we're gonna decorate the tables at the picnic with the red and white check tablecloth, tablecloths that I've gotten at the dollar store when I was down in Utah. And then I have little red lanterns that we're gonna put on the, actually I need two hands. I'm gonna put you guys down here. All right, that's better. Let me get my pasta out in the strainer. Got the strainer here in the sink. <coughs> so we've got little red lanterns and then I'll do jars of these hydrangeas. And we'll decorate the tables with those. So I've kind of got to do a lot of this prep work today. I've got to go over to the house where we're having it. And they have a large backyard, which works really, really good. And they have a lot of parking on their side lot. So it works good to have these parties there because we expect probably over 100 people at this event. No, more so, than Not more than that. Way more than um, so anyway, that's what we're going to work on today. We also need to secretly go and get the last of the stuff for Abby's birthday. In like she's coming home today. She's coming home in two hours. Two hours? Yeah, I think so, we like wake up. We have to wake up, get yeah. dressed, pack all the stuff. Can you see Ashley over here? Let me, see. Let me move this so you can see Ashley. She's sitting here on the counter with me. Say hi. Look at my money. Okay, so should we tell them about your money? But then we have to show them the video from yesterday. So yesterday was kind of a catch up day for, for me and Jason. He's kind of done some of the prep work for us to come home. He went to like a regular grocery store and got a few things. But we went to Costco yesterday. I've, de I've done laundry, I've unpacked. I've kind of, you know, done some stuff around the house and then I edited a lot of the afternoon while these guys went and played with me friend or with their friends. But Ashley came in yesterday and had this wonderful idea with all of her candy that she got from the parade, the parade. So not the markers and the not the granola bar and not the ponytail so she had a whole bunch of candy and she's got some more i have like a wide more back and she decided to go and sell it outside in the little stand so i'm going to insert the little bit of footage that we got yesterday of ashley setting up her little candy stand and then we'll come back and tell you how much she's earned so far and maybe she'll go back out later today and earn some more. You wanna yeah. go back out again? I, um, Wanna do that? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna put this, so this pasta is done. I've got, it's such a basic pasta. If I go to the grocery store, I might get some cucumbers and tomatoes, and then when it's cold, I might put in some blocks of cheese um, and kind of just spruce it up. But otherwise, I'm gonna put it in the fridge and get it nice and cold for the barbecue today. I've got my <laughs> breakfast drink. And we're gonna go to Target. We're gonna get wrapping paper and some last minute stuff for Abby's. And if you have a, that was cream cheese a card? in your hair. So we're gonna get ready for the day. What you doing, Ashley? Making candy stand. You're making a candy stand? One for 10, ten cents? 10 cents. 
or or three, four, twenty five. Five. Yeah, that's a good deal, right? Yeah. So these are all your candies from um, Utah. Utah, right? And then you got your taffies all in here. You separated them all out. Is this all of the candy? Did Chelsea not want to donate any of hers? No, she didn't want to. I don't even know where her candy is. Oh, we could probably sneak some. You're not gonna sneak no, I'm kidding. Candy. <laughs> Daddy's a good daddy for coming out here with you. I'm working on a computer, getting caught up with life today. Well, let me know how you do, okay? I don't know how. We gotta do, hope the kids wait. come out and play. What? How? I need a jar to put them. Oh, well, that's yeah. a good idea. Oh, good idea. Okay, you run and get a jar. Oh, I'll come help you. Okay, Ashley's all ready to go. Ooh, that's a giveaway of how much money you have. You wanna tell them how much you've gotten so far? Um. Um, $4.25. Good job, boo. Is that All right, show me your hair. Red, white, and blue. Isn't that cute? Turn around. All right, should we go to Target? I think someone's already ready to spend her money, aren't you? Yeah. I'm going to get more, though. You're going to get what? More. More money? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it again today as soon as we get home, okay? It's not going to rain, but it's not going to get super hot again today, which is good. Okay, let's go to Target. <laughs> I can't really do it. No, you can't. So we just got done at Target. We'll show you a few things. I don't really get it. Zabby may not watch this. So we got this cute little bag. Has happy birthday. Right, Ashley? Yeah. Look at this cute wrapping paper. She loves rose gold. So we kind of went with that theme. What else did we get, Ashley? All right, so then we got this cute little stand from the dollar spot to put her cake on. And then I got a hooray balloon. They didn't have a birthday one, but I love the turquoise color on that one. And then this cute card that has like movable glitters in them. I wish it was like rose gold glitters, but they're purple, but that's okay. It's still blue. And then it all just kind of like, looks really cute together with this the turquoise, with the sea green and the rose gold. This is all of it. And then we can't really show you what else we got because that's going to give away her birthday surprises, right? But we have to go somewhere else right now. We need to go wash this car. It is absolutely filthy. You can't even see Ashley in there. It's filthy gross. All right, so we're gonna go find a car wash. We actually tried to find a car wash yesterday, but we couldn't find one close enough to where we were at. And we just wanted to go home and eat. So, oh, we need to put this all, all away, Ashley. Can you put it back away? So we are gonna go to wash my car really quick. And then we've got to, what do we have? I don't even know what we have to do. Go home. Go home. So part of my problem is that I want to get like ready to go, but I also like, it's kind of muggy and anyway I have to leave like an hour and a half before the party tonight and go get ice and dry ice um, and probably put it in a cooler until the party because I need to go set up and make the root beer and do the tables and all that kind of stuff um, so I'm just kind of the rest of the stuff I need to do for the party is kind of now wait until it's the right right time to go so now i think i'm gonna go wrap these presents for abby before she gets home and i we have a week before her birthday but she um has a way of finding out she's kind of a little sneak so i'm trying to do things without her even being at home and then i'm actually going to have jason put these presents either in his car or taking him up take him take them up to his work because Abby's just really good at finding this kind of stuff so <laughs> I kind of want it to be a true surprise for her birthday next week and kind of keep it hidden so we'll go forward Ashley are you buckled up no you're not buckled up quite yet so we're gonna head on home Alright, 
So Ashley, show us what you've just made. Welcome home. Oh, it's upside down. I see it. Welcome, welcome home. Do you want to write their names? I forgot. I can't write. All right, she's making a welcome home sign for Kaylee and Abby. And then we'll hang it up, okay? Come and get me when you're done with it. I'm already done. What? You got to put their names on it. All right, now are you ready? You got their names on there? Okay, should we hang it out front for them? They're going to be home in like five minutes. Five? So, yeah, we got to hurry. All right, we got that all hung up. It's a little wonky, huh? That's okay. But Ashley said we should show you some flowers that bloomed while we were gone, right? Look at these beauties. Look how cool. This one is kind of leaning against the other one. Look how huge. Aren't those beautiful? You seen in the school days they're not be blooming. So this one isn't opened up all the way yet, but it's starting to. Oh, and then this one fell down all the way. They just don't. Look at that. I didn't see that one. How beautiful. I need to like get some bigger stakes for them because they don't want to stand up. I only have the one little stake right there. Isn't that pretty? And my one hydrangea. That's all I got out of that. We think that this ground right here is just too saturated in rocks. So the soil isn't deep enough to grow the roots and make it really spread bigger. So that's all I got this year. Are you gonna? My unit is literally like disease. We lost like yeah. four people. They lost four people. They got the plague apparently. The plague or the flu or cold or something? It was the flu, but everyone called it the plague. Oh my goodness. So you don't feel good right now? I feel good. I just have had so much crap. No, no, don't put that on my clean carpet. Oh, you guys are. Can you not do that on the clean carpet, please? Dad, wash the carpet. How you doing? Yeah? What's that? The trouble Oh, is that your, your, your Dr. Seuss? How cute. You had fun? Can't wait to hear all about it. You guys want to shower? Do you need me to help you unload and get cleaned up here? Yes, that would be. I heard you guys were really good packers. Marla was very happy with how you packed the car. I will put the camera down, but I like, I like should we document when those braids come undone and, and how much they puff with dirt? No? Okay, let's get you guys cleaned up and then take me a nap, maybe? <laughs> Did you see her sign? Tell her thank you. I won't bleach anything. Did you see Ashley's sign? Yeah. Tell her thank you. She made it just in the nick of time. We literally just taped it up. Yeah, I wouldn't hug her. She's dirty. Yeah, did you just wipe it off? <laughs> wow, turn around. So cute. I'm sure it's filthy, but it's really cute. I should do French braids so you have curly hair like that. You want to take a shower, huh? Oh. oh, these have been in for two days. Oh, not the whole time? No, I read it twice. Oh, okay. All right, go shower. You're filthy. Filthy mess. She stinks. All right, so we're at my friend's house. She has like a gorgeous property. Let me check this out. Super pretty, and then that's her house. Look how pretty. She has such a nice house. Anyway, so we just got here and I set up all the decorations for this party. Let me just show you what we got. Look how cute. My battery's about to die. So look how cute it is. All right, now we've got all the kids with us. Evelyn, you're back with the family. Our missing puzzle piece. <laughs> <laughs> She's so happy we're back in town, huh? I literally jumped on Kaylee when I saw her. Like I heard her voice. I, know, I, I was gonna go on a walk with my dad, but then I heard Kaylee's voice. I I run out screaming and like literally jump on her. 
<laughs> well, I wish I could have been there to see your reaction. <laughs> Haley stunk though. Did she stink? Yeah. Oh my gosh, she was so gross. <laughs> yeah, she was really gross. But now we're all clean and she doesn't want to be on camera. It's like you want to be on camera when you're dirty, not when you're clean. <laughs> okay, we're going back to the barbecue and we should have a fun time. Right, kids? And you're gonna eat and not just dessert. I can't eat more dessert. No more dessert? Yes. Kaylee? Oh. You just ate way too many snacks? She's not. Oh, she I won't even like turn to work. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we've got the root beer made and we're gonna add the dry ice, right, Abby? Yeah, it smells so good. Yeah, it smells so good, huh? Go ahead. Don't touch it, please. Go at it. This is a new book. Oh my god. Go, <laughs> go. <laughs> Yep. Trying to get out of here. Anyway, look at all the tall trees behind me. Can you see those? Let's see if I can show the tall trees. That's just their backyard. Anyway, we had a good time. Everything went really well. It wasn't too hot and it didn't rain. So I think it was a success. Ashley, did you have fun? We have a lot of stuff in here, don't we? What is that? Oh, that's the table turned weird, huh? All right, so that's it, you guys. We have to go and unload all this. It is eight o'clock, time for bed. I think we're gonna call it a night. So thank you for watching. It was a successful party, and the girls had a good time at girls camp. I don't think that they're gonna hop on and do a video on how much they like to camp. I think I got all of them, all out of them, what I was gonna be able to right when they got home, so. We're gonna sign off for tonight and we'll see you again next time. Say goodnight. Good night. Good night.